Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and this is my final review of iOS 16. In this video, you can see a walkthrough through iOS 16, some of the best and the worst things that you will find on iOS 16. And of course, we're going to talk about performance, battery life and everything else you need to know regarding the new update. Now, before we get into the video, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that are watching my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So I would really appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel. It would really mean a lot. And of course, it helps the channel a lot. Now, we're starting things off with the performance of iOS 16. So this is the latest Geekbench score that I got from iOS 16 right here on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. You can see what we got here on the single core score 1605, which is not bad. It has actually been improving with every beta. And then we have here 4173 on the multi core score. Again, you can see right here we have the scores and each of them has been actually improving and we have a quite good result with the iOS 16 finally with having here 1600 on the single core score and 4173 on the multi core score which again is a very decent score for the iPhone 12 Pro Max and not just that it also beats all the results that I got on this device on iOS 15 like iOS 15.4 or 15.5 you can see here these are the results from 15.5 and you can see it is actually much much better with iOS 16. Moving on to battery life. Of course, battery life, a very important component when it comes to devices and software as well. Now with iOS 16, you will get quite decent battery life. Now I have to say that I pretty much didn't notice any big difference moving from iOS 15.5 to iOS 16 beta, even though of course the first couple of betas have been a bit buggy. So the battery life was a bit worse, especially when you try to customize the new lock screen, it would heat up and drain the battery. But since beta three, it has actually been quite good. So if you're right now on iOS 15.6 or 15.5, just prepare to have basically the same battery life as you're having right now. You can see right here on the iPhone 12 Pro Max with a battery health of 89%. We have here a few results. So you can see all about 100s here. So we got six hours right here and 46 minutes on screen, then six hours, 15 minutes on screen. So pretty decent given the, the fact that this has an 89% battery health. And of course we're on iOS 16 here getting over six hours on screen with the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So I'm actually very satisfied with the battery life that I'm getting on my device running iOS 16. And now let's talk about some of the good and the bad things and of course, some of the biggest changes of iOS 16. And we're starting with the lock screen. So of course, the lock screen has changed a lot with iOS 16. You will have now a new look here when trying to customize it. And we have some pretty cool things. You can, of course, customize it, add widgets right here, which is really, really cool. You will have widgets at the top right there. And of course, the depth effect and all of that. And you will be able to add weather, as the lock screen wallpaper, of course, connect like a focus mode to a lock screen, which is really cool, but it will have its downsides as well. Currently, it's a bit buggy when you're trying to change widgets. For example, if you add a few different widgets here and you're trying to switch places, you can see it doesn't actually work as it should. It won't actually drag at all. So it has, of course, a few problems. The, the bad things come when you're trying to change wallpapers. You will notice a few things will be missing from iOS 15. First of all, there are no live wallpapers on iOS 16 and there are no new wallpapers except one that Apple has presented on WWDC 2022 and it even doesn't have a dark mode. So that's really, really bad. And of course, it has also removed perspective zoom. So any kind of wallpaper you apply to the lock screen of your iPhone, it won't have the perspective zoom effect. Even though it was here, I believe it was since iOS 16 beta 5, but I don't know why Apple removed it and it's actually really bad because the depth effect feature combined with the perspective zoom looked really, really cool. So don't expect to get live wallpapers, dark mode wallpapers or perspective zoom with iOS 16. Moving on to the home screen. Now, of course, on the home screen, one of the best changes that you will find that everyone will love 
is the new battery indicator on the status bar which of course you get on the lock screen and in the apps as well and what i really like is a new search button that apple has added to ios 16 which will basically take you to the spotlight search so you don't need to drag down you just tap here and you're on the spotlight search of course you can use it to move around as you did before just like that so it still works but when you tap it it takes you to the spotlight search one thing i don't really like and it's keeping me away from having like lighter colors wallpapers on the home screen is that ios 16 will add this shadow behind the labels on the icons which actually makes it look really really ugly the home screen will look really ugly with that and also the widgets on the home screen haven't changed at all i believe no widget was updated with ios 16 except like a new one for the quick note that apple has added otherwise you don't get any new features with the widgets on the home screen at all next up let's talk about apps what are some of the best updates that apple has brought to apps with ios 16 and we're talking messages first so on imessage we get some really cool new features you will be able to now mark a message as unread from here or of course just edit any message you want so here you can see i have an edited message it will show you what you have edited and you can now also unsend messages with ios 16 so just type any message you want and once you have sent a message all you have to do is just go ahead and 3d touch on that message and you will be able to undo it from here and you can see just like that it will disappear this is a feature a lot of people have been asking for it's finally here with ios 16. moving on to photos a must must needed feature apple has added with ios 16 finally you have actually private photos on your photos app so you have here of course the hidden album it is fine a lot it didn't make any sense having that album there when it wasn't locked now it's finally locked with a passcode and face id whichever one you use of course or touch id and the same goes for the recently deleted album next up we're moving to the mail app the mail app actually has some pretty cool features as well now you can finally unsend an email and you can also schedule emails that's very very useful so when trying to send a new email all you have to do is just of course add the recipient here and add your subject and your email right there so let's just try it out so once you have added your email what you can do is tap and hold the send button and right here you can tap on send later and just choose whenever you want to send that email you can also unsend an email simply go to settings go to mail right here and just scroll all the way down undo send delay you can just go ahead and choose here and within that time interval you will be able to actually unsend any email you want great new feature on the phone app and the contacts app as well now you can finally add lists to your contacts you can create different different lists of course and add any of your contacts you want on any list you can quickly email them or message them from these lists and one really cool feature 3d touch on any contact you want and easily delete them from here now these are some of the apps that got some pretty cool updates some of the apps didn't get any update at all like the calculator app is that simple app that it has been here forever not updated at all the same goes for the camera app no update at all actually no new interface or anything for the camera app as well as the clock app no new updates with ios 16 and the weather app got some improvements but it hasn't been updated a lot the same goes for the settings app for example or the app store or the files app or the music app of course despite the new lock screen music controls we don't have anything new on music just a, a few different different touches and of course improvements but no big changes on most of the stock apps of ios so this is ios 16 this is basically what you will get with the initial release of ios 16 which will happen in a few days now so how to update if you're on beta and you have updated to the rc version you don't need to update you won't actually get an update at all because you already have the public version if you're on ios 15 you can just go ahead and go to general here of course once the software is out to the public tap on software update and from here you will get the update and you should update from here very very easily on your device so this is as easy as that but should you update or not i suggest you should i think this is a great update i had a great experience using this 
on my daily driver and actually I've done that since beta one and it has been pretty pretty decent so I really enjoyed this update I think it's great and the new features of course will make a lot of people want to update to iOS 16 so yes in my opinion you should go ahead and just update to iOS 16. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed the new software. I hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead, subscribe for more iOS 16 videos. And I'll see you on the next one.